Crime and punishment on the street are plain for all to see. Online, it's much less visible. But, according to a new report, it's every bit as financially damaging. The amount of cybercrime is increasing at such an exponential rate, it almost feels like we're swimming against the tide. It's important for nations around the world to begin to track and record the number of cybercrime incidents they're seeing. Because we can't actually address the problem until we actually know how big the issue is. Cybercrime costs £266 billion each year, 0.8% of the global economy. That's just less than the drugs trade or piracy. If cybercrime were a country, its economy would rank 27th in the world, higher than Singapore, Austria and South Africa. The UK ranked 5th in the G20 countries most affected, with £6.8 billion worse off each year. And the report says that online crime costs 150,000 jobs in Europe. For individual businesses, cybercrime can be catastrophic. Critical power supplies in Oxfordshire lost £20,000 to a cyber attack, money that wasn't insured. It was the most soul-destroying thing in five years of running a business to happen. Terrifying. Luckily, we'd actually managed to have some reserves. So we drew on our reserves to keep the business going. But if you were a cash-strapped business, as many businesses are today, because of this recession, it, it would just destroy you overnight. Cybercrime is no back alley affair. It's a gigantic industry. 87% of all businesses suffered a breach last year, from large corporations to family-run companies. The scale of the problem is so vast, it's impossible for any one government to handle alone. I don't think any country um, can really do this alone. I think that uh, law enforcement agencies and nation states do need to come together in this particular area of crime. It's quite unique. In reality, um, criminals do not need to turn up in the location in order to commit the crime. It's not like a murder or a drug trafficking where somebody has to turn up in order to actually do it. Criminals are carrying out um, uh, cyber crimes and they are doing it from the safety of their own bedrooms. Unlike their colleagues on the streets, the thin blue digital line now stretches across the globe, but is under ever more strain. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.